Did we just see the game of the year between Auburn and Houston? Let's break down some of the film on how Auburn was able to get the win. We are going to start on the defensive end because this game was just a defensive masterclass at times. Houston in the first half, 1.13 points per possession. Auburn, 1.0 points per possession. And Houston kind of held the advantage. And we're going to go through what they did defensively in the first half. And we'll get to the second half after of how Auburn was able to win. So Auburn, 77 action, double ball screen up top. On the second one, you're going to see Houston come out in this high hedge, put two on the ball. That is what they always want to do, and they're fine just playing rotations on the back side. And this is very early in the game. Make the correct rotation down low, and this is the right kick out. But now Houston just has the personnel and the capabilities to fly around and be everywhere. And so now they're forcing Broom to take a tough contested three, get the rebound, and go the other way. We're going to look at another one right here. So handoff and, and Auburn moving the belt. Uh, moving the ball around right here. He doesn't want to throw the to the roller, but passing ahead. Now you can hit the roll and now it, it's it's Houston collapsing down. Good pass. And that was a foul right there heading to the free throw line. So good ball movement can still beat Houston. It's just Houston puts you in such tough spots that you have to be perfect within that movement. Kind of flipping to the other side where Auburn's playing defense now. One thing that stood out is just how much pressure they could put on the ball. Now, they pressed the entire game, and Houston didn't have an insane amount of turnovers. They only had 10, which is honestly pretty good going to get up against this Auburn defense. But one of them that they did right here is very simple. This is their five-man right here, just being able to get the ball, get in you know, the passing lane. This is Caldwell right here, and then be able to grab and go. And just a very simple pass. In most games, that's an easy pass that's made. But in this specific game, every single pass, every single dribble, it's felt like at times was really just crazy tough to do. The other thing Auburn, I think, did really, really well was protect the rim. Houston didn't take a ton of shots at the rim. I think they were 5 of 12 on the day at the rim. And so the one set right here, you're going to get a double high ball screen for Houston. On the second one, you're going to see Johnson right here. He was looking to kind of be up at the level. Houston does a good job of uh, flipping it, getting downhill. But now there's two rim protectors, and Auburn just has athletes uh, with you know guys like guys like Johnson, guys like Caldwell, Broom obviously is another one. Like they just have dudes that can go and help protect the rim, and it makes it really tough to score. Uh, I think both teams also they still had some good offensive stuff in the first half. This play right here, you're gonna see Broom up the top the, uh, with the ball. And so we're going to rewind. This is basically flipping into inverted zoom where it's okay. So he's faking like he's going to come up and either set a screen or ghost or something flips back around. Now it's into zoom action and they just broom does a great job on this roll. And uh, Pettifor does a great job getting him the ball. Now he can go finish at the rim on the roll. Flipping to Houston right here. This is Cryer going to be kind of just in semi transition, high pick and roll. And just that initial burst right there where Auburn's big wasn't quite set. Johnson wasn't quite set. Now Cryer can get the advantage and he gets the initial switch right there. Auburn's trying to switch back and he just takes advantage immediately and pulls up. Now let's jump to the second half. Auburn 1.533 points per possession. That is an insane number for most halves, regardless of who you play, but especially against this Houston defense. Houston was about what they were in the first half, 1.125 points per possession. We'll start with a little bit of what Houston was able to do, and then we'll finish it off with Auburn. This play right here, I really liked from Houston, where moving the ball around, and as I rewind right here, they're going to set this rip screen to then uh, get Roberts kind of low post positioning, and now he's able to catch it here and just kind of go one-on-one -on -one and go to work, trying to you know work with this space. You see Auburn staying at home. They are leaving one-on-one. -on -one. And so from there, you just kind of trust your guy. Robert's a dude that can go and make this play. He did it right there, gets the end one, and, and that's something Houston did well. Auburn also started featuring the post a lot more. We'll talk about that in just a sec. If you are enjoying, please like and subscribe. We're going to have a ton of college film breakdowns throughout the season. This play right here is just an example of LJ Cryer being to, able to self-create. He had 13 points, wasn't crazy efficient, efficient shooting, but... It was kind of needed from Houston, and they probably needed even just a touch more. So high ball screen right here. You're going to see Broom um, up at the level, two on the ball. And Cryer's still just able to kind of hold the defender and now get downhill. And so as I rewind, he's keeping his guy on his hip just enough. And so now as soon as Broom goes back, he's able to attack that space. 
this isn't like an easy shot by any means that 15 foot pull up fading away just a little bit but at the same time against this Auburn defense being able to create any sort of shot like that is really really important and, and Houston needed probably just a touch more of it or they needed Auburn to just not go berserk in the second half and Auburn did a really really good job Johnny Broom did play fantastically especially in that second half he finished with 20 points nine rebounds two assists five blocks also like I said really really good rim protection from Auburn but you're gonna see right here this play it's very simple in that okay it's it's uh right here you're going to see pegs acting like he's setting a cross screen for broom to go to this block and then they're immediately just going to flip it now broom is going to catch it on the strong side block and his defender is already out of position so now when he catches you already notice right there's a ton of spacing up top it is one-on-one -on -one. his defender right here francis is, is out of position just because of that little step and now broom gets him to jump goes up doesn't get the end one but draws the foul and, and does a good job of just generating a good look that way and Auburn went to him quite a few times especially in the post they did different ways to get him the ball and this is going to be another one right here where you just see broom posting up nothing happens balls moving around and now this is where you actually do see that legit cross screen it's basically the same play right where he broom's going to fake like he's going this side and then immediately flip back around to catch you're going to see right here uh, this is Tugler that goes up and over the top of this screen from um, from Pettiford. Goes up over the top. Now Broom able to just easily go up, convert, finish at the rim. That was just a, a very, very useful kind of set that Auburn went to quite a few times. Broom doesn't have to only work from the post, though. And this is going to be an example of that. Pick and roll. And you're going to see uh, Pettiford does a good job of kind of freezing uh, Tugler right here in that drop coverage. And there's just no backside help. And this is not something you'd usually expect to see from Houston. They're very much on point in what their rotations are supposed to be. Maybe for some reason Houston was supposed to drop back and, and they weren't going to provide any help off anybody on the perimeter. Um, but this is definitely just a, a big, big mishap, especially with five minutes left in a one possession game. Broom, I mean, it's not even like it's, it's a crazy hard roll or anything. He's just able to get right into empty space go up and finish at the rim and, and little plays like that really do add up the other guy we have to talk about is to hod pettiford finish the game with 21 points three assists five of eight from three just knocked down some really really big time shots played good defense and, and just did everything that was needed of him especially in that second half as a freshman in his second career collegiate game just unreal stuff so we'll start here just a little bit on the defensive end is going to be able to get kind of around the screen, force a little bit of a tougher pull up um, from Houston right there. And now he's able to grab and go. And he's kind of this quick twitch, really fast guard. And now he can just get downhill. And I've mentioned off at kind of at the top of the video of, hey, getting a transition against t defenses like this is a little bit of a cheat code. You don't allow that defense to set up. You may not have the rim protectors that you usually have there. And just little things like that um, really, really add up in the long run, especially when it's when it's this close of talent. And the last thing, really, really good play right here. So Pettiford is who we're going to be watching. Ball is swinging around up top. You're going to see Pettiford. He's going to set this rip screen, this back screen right here. Freezes just enough. It, rewind. Watch his defender right here. Freezes him just enough. And now he kind of starts to have the advantage. And Houston is now playing from behind defensively. This flows into that inverted zoom, kind of like horizontal, where it's going to be a pin down into a handoff. And again, Houston is now playing behind. Pettiford is able to walk up into the three and just drill it. And that was big time for him, big time for Auburn. Puts them up two with four minutes left um, and just executed really, really well down the stretch, which I was very impressed with. If you enjoyed again, please like, subscribe. Click here to see how Kansas just beat UNC.